Hello, 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 Sucrose here. Back to play some long dark. Last time we played, we made it to a new home on the coastal highway. Pretty excited about that. We've got a lot of places to explore today. All right, let's go ahead, I think. More or less things are looking good. So welcome everybody. All right, here is our new home. It's still a little bit, a uh, little bit dark, but not sure there's much we could do about that. Hey, lurker, what's up, man? Let's check the weather. Always the most important thing is what's the weather doing? We plan our uh, plan our search. Beautiful weather. It's warm. You can see forever. A little windy. But otherwise, it's uh, quite nice. So I'm thinking we're going to head out towards this other island. It's hard to see because of the trees. Over there, that's going to be our first stop. And then we'll decide what to do after that. Here for those deer pants. <laughs> um, it would be neat. It would be neat if... I think they were more crafting stuff. Like, I really like uh, Seven Days to Die in that respect. There's so many things to make. Um, not just a couple of items of clothing, but <clears throat> I was thinking, how cool would it be if we could somehow make a generator for the house and get these lights to work again? I would be into that. Um, all right, let's. Um, Let's uh, make sure we're organized, and then we'll, we'll head out. It's a little bit afternoon, but we um, should have plenty of time. Um, Lurker, how did you manage to convince um, uh, shoot, um, Ica? Yeah, Ica. How did you manage to convince Ica to uh, to host me? I hope you didn't threaten them. <clears throat> All right. Well, we don't have anything. Oh, you know what? Actually. No, okay, so we'll, we'll be looking for like a light pair of gloves. Ask for some friends we have to host. Oh, wow. Yeah, thanks so much, Lurker. A lot of a lot of people drop by, as I'm sure you saw. So thanks for that. Are you, are you watching multiple streams at the same time? Um, let's see, what do we have? Because you have none of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 the problem is I don't have, uh, but I only have one monitor. And so I just have enough room. I put the chat on top of the screen. And uh, the, the chat doesn't tell me messages like that, like hosting and stuff. Um, so what I want to do is make sure we have enough room to bring stuff back. So I'm going to drop couple of things like the hatchet we don't need probably um, the water we don't need so much of because there's probably going to be toilet water uh, we have 
quite a bit of food. Let's um, let's pare that down and then check our check our stats here. Drop the clean <laughs> Well, I was saying I was saying in the first um, in the first stream, it's it's okay to drink water from the back of a tank. Um, <clears throat> if you know if you have a tank toilet, the water back there is clean. It's just, I mean the tank isn't particularly clean, but the the water's coming from the same place that you get uh, sink water. Um, you don't want to drink it out of the bowl. No way, Jose. I mean, if you're thirsty enough, if you're thirsty enough, Lurker, don't, um, don't ignore, don't ignore your possibilities. All right. We've just got to make it to the house without getting eaten by wolves. It seems to be the story of our lives. This guy's got nothing. No wonder he died. He doesn't have anything. Poor fella. Um, so you can see the wolves out there on the ice. And I, I don't want to get into a tussle, he says, as he holds his rifle. Um, let's try let's try a flare. If we get into a problem, we'll try a flare. The problem is if they they seem to just charge immediately, and I'm not sure we have enough time to to ready up. All right, grab a little, uh, a few sticks just in case we need to make a fire. It can get cold, seemingly out of nowhere. All right, you can just see that little house. If I, um, there you go. It's pretty much straight across. And you can also see how the water sort of, I mean, it's not water, the ice kind of changes color here. This is um, dangerous. Oh, this is actual water. Uh, it might, it might be a little bit icy, but you don't want to go in it. And it sounds, it sounds beautiful though. So what do we got? We've got a wolf. There's some piers there. Uh, I don't see much of anything else. <clears throat> Let's head over here to this um, little fishing house. Fishing hut. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's probably not going to be the end of the world anytime soon, but you might be, live in an area that, holy crap, it's a second rifle. Probably useful. Wow. Um, that's pretty good luck. Kind of late in the day, and that rifle is a little bit heavy, so I'm gonna tuck it away in this uh, drawer, and we'll pick it up on the way back. Problem is, having another rifle isn't isn't as great as having more bullets, you know. Anyway, I was saying, it might not be end of the world, but um, you might get hit by a hurricane or. Something like that. A lot of people go without fresh water. 
and um, you never know. I like uneventful. I much prefer it to fighting wolves. Let's see what we got up here. Of sticks. There's our cottage. I mean, um, our destination cottage. Your gifted sub is running out soon. I'm sorry. Uh, who gifted you a sub? I don't remember. Probably should have brought the lantern. Don't know how dark it's going to be in here. It's, it's kind of, kind of dark. Ah, oh, that's where nine 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 comes from. I see. I see. Um, Mickey Pooh was here last night, right? I think I can use this. All right. Well. We're going to try to loot this house even though we can't see very well. Um, if we have extra time and energy, we'll maybe break down a couple chairs or um, some curtains. But mostly we're after tools and food and stuff like that. Oh, it's from O and I. I see. I, I get it. I didn't really understand, but I get it now. It's, I, I've definitely watched people play who just make everything priority nine and then nothing gets done. I, I mean, I, that's how I played right at the beginning. Hmm. That smell is good. Okay. a whole lot in these cabinets, huh? Got some orange liquid. Uh, okay, I'm a little underwhelmed so far, but we still got the bedroom. Uh, in the bathroom, I can't see anything. What do we got? Honestly, this is a pretty nice house. Uh, accelerant, that's useful. All right. So, might get some good clothes in here. It's uh, hmm. this will come in handy. It's not really what I was looking for, but. It's kind of the fun of looting is you don't know what you're going to get. And you try to make everything as useful as you can. So, oh, cargo pants. That's a pretty good find. Cargo pants are very nice. We have a pair, but uh, we can wear two pairs of pants. So. It's not as nice as the deer pants, but it's a lot lighter. Um, oh, a pry bar. Oh, you hosted me too? Let me see. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lurker. I appreciate it. I, so I alt-tab to the program that lets me see stuff. Um, thank you very much. 
Maybe some of your buddies will show up. Yeah, I'll take it. Here, sauce. Okay, I mean, all this stuff is pretty good. But it's, it's not... It's not, like, fantastic. But I guess we... Have to make do. So sometimes you can find a little pair of socks on like the toilet. I mean the what do you call it? The bathtub. You learned how to host, so you do it now. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. I I don't really have many friends on Twitch. Mostly. I think I think maybe just one person who I know in person. All right, let's drink. I guess we'll eat some of this stuff. Um, well, maybe not. So these these all give you liquid. So I'll save it. Chef Roxy, who's that? Um, I honestly, I think that's everything here. It's kind of a kind of a disappointing haul, but we can come back here if we need wood. There's a ton of wood, you know, in the form of tables, and benches, and stuff. Um, and there's a pretty good amount of metal, like uh, these metal pots. If we had a hacksaw, we could uh, get metal out of them. But that's all I see, so... Um, looks like the sun is beginning to set. Chef Roxy is a streamer. Uh, what games does he or she play? Um... I see. Well, the weather's not looking so hot. I, I'm not entirely sure where we came from. I think it's that way. Yeah, I think so. So let's let's take a quick little tour of the island and see if there's anything. Um, see if there's anything. Oh man, the wind's blowing so hard. It's kind of move, hard to move. Yeah, it's 650 here as well, so we're both on the same time zone. Um just just in case. So after we loot stuff that's um Lying around here, we're gonna head uh, head back home because it's late and the weather's getting bad. Looks like a deer out there. Looks like a cave. Um, did you hear that? I thought I heard growl. All right, well, I think if we go further that way, there's some cabins. Yeah, you can see them there. Um, and somewhere over here, maybe here, is the gas station. We're going to want to go there, but it's going to be very dangerous. I've always seen a lot of wolves. Like, a lot of wolves.
Um, but there's a lot of good stuff to loot. Hey, Joey. How's it going? Did you finish your essay? <laughs> We just, uh, we just loaded this first little house here. Um, our neighbor. And didn't find much stuff. Uh, good, good. Alright, let's head home. And we'll come out again tomorrow. We'll decide, um... We'll have to decide whether we're going to... God, I hope we can find our way home. I think we go towards the tree and then towards the... the little hut. I think I see it. I think I see the hut. Um, and tomorrow we'll decide whether to go to the gas station. Or the... I think they're called fishing huts. Assuming we don't get eaten by wolves in the way. Because I can't see shit. I have to say, I'm a little bit afraid. Both of falling through the ice and of wolves. But I guess we won't fall through if there's a hut here. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Babe, it set a while ago. Um, we did find a second gun, which is kind of nice. But I don't think it has any bullets in it. Is this the right? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Shit, I don't know which direction. Eating dinner? Okay. Lurker gonna be lurking? I mean, I figured. Yeah, I'd rather have bullets. I, I agree. I really hope this is the right direction. I get turned around super easily. I think this is it. I hear the water. So you can actually see waves here. Well, you might not be able to see much of anything. But the sea is there. All right, our house should be just at the top of this hill. I think we've found the right island. Go, Jackrabbit Island. Surely we the house is here. Aha, ha, ha. That rabbit gave me a little bit of a startle. It's actually not that late. Um, it's just the weather makes everything look dark. So, I'm gonna hang out and try to get a little wood. I think it should be safe on this island, but who knows what's safe in this game. Oh lord. All right, maybe it's too dark. The house is gonna be dark too. Uh, this is the long dark, I suppose. Hopefully we can find the, um, the lantern. 
pretty sure it's in the kitchen. Now, wh where's the kitchen? I have no idea. Oh, I can actually see. Okay. So just, just in case we need it, I'm going to grab the lantern. This is the... This is the new one, I think. All right, let's put some stuff away and head to bed. Now, where do we want to go tomorrow? The dangerous... Um, the dangerous gas station with a lot of loot? Or the safer... I think the gas station, because... We're going to go to the gas station. Might as well get it out of the way. We might spend a couple of days there if, uh, if it's hard to get back. Let's eat uh, this milk. Uh, but yeah, we could spend a couple of days there. I have a feeling we're going to wind up killing a wolf or two and then um, use the use the gas station as a little temporary base till we can get back here <laughs> which might mean until we kill all the wolves um, let's uh, tear that apart Oh, this is great. If if this is how it is at night, I can get used to this because I can actually make out stuff. Uh, jeans away. Put the mitts away. And we've got this terrific new gun. find out if they have bullets. I guess they just don't. Yeah, I think it would say. So we'll put uh, we'll put this gun here. Drop some sticks. And I believe we did, like, health and crafting. Or maybe both. Um, actually, before I do that, I want to repair my new pants. Tools in here, I think. We'll get used to this after doing it a couple times. Let's see if we can head out and repair our pants before it's too cold. Stand on our porch. If you're lucky enough to live in a place where you have a porch, you should go hang out there. It's a pretty cool place. Wonderful. Ah. Oh. It failed. All right. Uh. I'm not going to repair this park. It takes three cloth, and I have a feeling that, uh, we're going to fail since it's so dark, but 
Um, it's in pretty good shape. Alright, so let's take all the rest of the cloth, put that back up. What do we got going on? Can I make... Is it going to let me craft inside? So I, ca I kind of wonder, does this game model the light based on how dark it is outside? I don't really even know. But it's pretty much the middle of the night, and it's letting me craft. So maybe it's a full moon? You know, that kind of thing. Okay, I don't think we'll need two accelerants. All these tinder plugs. Uh, 12 matches should be enough. <clears throat> that should be enough bandages. Uh, we're still super heavy. What's going on? We've got the lantern, we've got the gun. That's not helping. Honestly, it's partially all these clothes. We've got a lot more clothes than we used to. Um, I think when you're wearing them, they only count as half weight. But still. But yeah, 50 pounds. It's crazy. So we'll go to, we're going to go to the gas station. I, <laughs> it's risky. There's a very good chance that we'll die. Uh, there's a very good chance we'll get attacked by wolves. But it's, um, it's probably worth it. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's usually like, I mean, I've seen, yeah, I've seen five wolves there before, but there's, there's usually wolves nearby, so it's, it's going to be, it's going to be dangerous. Uh, but so much loot, you know? Um, yeah, I think I'll grab another flare. Problem is we're so heavy. Um, we don't have any light shoes. And this coat is 15% protection, so I want to keep it even though it's heavy. Um, these gloves are 5% protection. I kind of want to ditch the parka. Oh, that's full. Okay. 
guess we'll use this. Um, hi, Trisha Fina. How are you? Welcome. What's going on tonight? Uh, Nikki Poo, 82. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a woodsman who has a serious disorder. Um, oh, Lefty. Lefty Raffle um, just hosted me. Thank you so much, Lefty. Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. Um, welcome. Welcome to my channel. We're just about to make a very dangerous trip. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate it, Lefty. How, how are you? Do you play uh, Long Dark, Lefty? Uh, I, yeah, I have been invaded. I don't feel violated, though, so that's good. Uh, what do we want to bring? What do I want to eat? It's a little leftover MRE, maybe. You like Risky TLD? Well, we're about to go to the gas station here in the um, Coastal Highway, and we're on essentially stalker mode. Um, hi, everybody. Mega Takibu Boots Dota. We're basically on stalker mode, although we've customized a couple things. We've disabled um, parasites. Uh, and I think we've, we've we also reduced the um, degradation of items so that it, it doesn't degrade so fast. But otherwise, it's stalker settings. This is my first time playing on stalker, essentially stalker. The wolves, well, they suck, uh, is all I can say, I suppose. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get through to the crack of dawn, and if the weather is on our side, we'll head out. Let's drop the lantern. We don't need that, I don't think. So we've got 43 pounds. That's, all, that's pretty heavy. Sticks are two. And I wanted to grab another um, flare. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty heavy, but, but I think it's okay because we'll probably hang out by the, uh, we'll probably hang out by the gas station or at the gas station for a little while, maybe a couple days. Um, uh, Trisha Fina says, I've tried Emerald for a bunch of times. Have yet to surpass four days. Honestly, I think, you, you know, you should just play it how you want to play it. I've had a lot of fun playing it with passive wolves. That's pretty much how I usually play. But I decided to do something a little more exciting for stream. I think our next game is going to be passive wolves, though, because these wolves are ridiculous. Um... How long have I been playing TLD or Trish? Uh, I've been playing for a couple of years, but not not regularly, not religiously. And like I said, only um, almost exclusively with passive wolves. So I don't know really how uh, how to deal with them. We've spent a lot of bullets on them. And I'm trying to adapt, and maybe we, we, we used a little fire on our last wolf, and that seemed to go well. But ever since, ever since they added the new mode that lets you customize things, I feel like you can get a thousand hours out of this game. Put it on whatever settings you want. Learn it at your own pace. Have a little fun. So... I can't see shit. The visibility is terrible. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, that land is in this direction. But not being able to see wolves makes me kind of scared. Let's 
let's let's head down and see what we've got. Let's grab Let's grab a flare. Yeah, this is Jack Rabbit Island. This is our second home. We just moved in last night in real life. Uh, before there, we were at um, the lodge in Mystery Lake. Um, I, I, so it's not really... I'm not going to be too crazy about it, but I, I'd, I'd rather you just let me make mistakes instead of telling me something is, um, is in a particular direction or is not in a particular direction. Just, just let, let me do what makes the most sense to me and then we'll see how the story plays out because honestly I think it might be exciting if I make mistakes or if I don't know where things are. Um, I think it's more exciting. Yeah, it's no worries, no worries. But sometimes surprises happen and I think that that's... I think surprises can be fun. All right. Well, it's it's pretty clear we've got um, the little house we went to last night is in that direction, I believe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go across, even in this light. I think that might be a wolf. Um, <laughs> the Bob, yeah, exactly. I I aspire to be as interesting as Bob Ross because there really, I mean, there really aren't any mistakes. There's no, there's no goal to this game. Um, and I like that. I like that you're just kind of trying to tell a story, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, so that's definitely a wolf. Let's kind of split the difference here, and um, I think there's a wolf. It could be a deer, but we're going to go this way. And I'm going to switch back to flare. Yeah, those look like deer. Um, once we hit land, I'm pretty sure we turn right. I'd like to go to that cabin, that, I mean the hut, the fishing hut, but uh, I believe we have another wolf ahead of us. I'm going to cut left. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Xantron. I I appreciate the suggestion. Um, speaking of which, Santron, thank you for the follow. All right, now I love to see deer because when there's deer, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a deer. The antlers weren't showing up on my screen. It, it's its profile didn't make any sense to me. Uh, another knife. We've been lucky with knives. This stuff will come in handy. Um, so I was saying I love to see deer because wherever you've got a bunch of deer just hanging out, there's not going to be a wolf. And if a wolf comes, you can try to juke them into the into the deer and uh, get him to eat the deer instead of you. That's the theory, at least. Um, I'm I'm sort of turning myself around by going into this house. I'm not really very good at this. I think it's just. <laughs> I think it's this way. I think this is the land. We'll certainly know. Yeah, I think I see the road. Or I see the electrical lines. Yeah. All right, beautiful. How many wolf fights before I die? Man, Joey, we had a wolf fight last night that was just 
we went from 100% to 15% in one fight. Um, I had the crowbar, which is supposed to be the best way to fight him off. And he just wouldn't give up. And we almost bled out. Things were starting to get woozy. All right, so far so good. We've got a little corpse and we've made it to land. Nobody needs this Tender plug, I mean, okay. We're still underweight. You can't fight his running away. With the fire situation, yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm I'm happy how that turned out. We we um tried to tried to get some meat off of a deer, and we built a fire, and then the wolf came, and you know the fire chased him away. But he wouldn't let us go, so we took out a torch and uh, threw it at him and made it past. All right, so we're on the road. Civilization, huh? Um, if we head this way, we'll eventually make it to the gas station. I know that much. Wolves everywhere. Um, what I don't know, because I've never been in the situation, is what happens when multiple wolves attack you? I assume they just take turns. Decoys. We tried it once, and they totally ignored the decoy. Um, hey, Lurker. Get ready to be amazed because you're here. Welcome back. How was dinner, Lurker? It really is, Joey. The sounds in this game are fantastic. I... My personal favorite are the birds, because I've played this um, really late at night in um, in Illinois. I, I'm in New York now, but back when I was in Illinois, and I actually thought that they there were birds outside my window. Um, as you were saying, they start they start going at like four in the morning. It can be a bit buggy if you're near huts or trees. Go around the decoys, but I'm open. They usually go for them. Well, um, it's not a bad idea, but I, I I'm gonna stick with the flare for now. We um, we've had some wolves come from a really really far away, just because we were carrying like one piece of meat. So I'm gonna try not to do that. I don't know which way to go. I want sight lines. I'm going to be a little bit quiet here because I'm honestly a little bit scared. And I want to hear them. Um, oh, you know what? We passed this. When we came into this part of the map, we passed this. Remember this bridge? And then there were crows and we couldn't reach them. Let's see what's over here. The loons. Yeah, I like the loons. This stuff will come in. Five here. rounds. What a great find. I'll take them. So we haven't had much problem with heat. Um, Stalker seems to be about wolves and not uh, environmental trouble. When I play on custom, I usually turn the environmental stuff up. So it gets super cold, it gets cold really fast, but cold doesn't seem to be much of a problem here. So at some point we're going to switch these sneakers just for the weight. I, I certainly don't know the answer, Zantron. San, uh, Zantron? 
Um, but I, it seems like smell is affected. That's my non-scientific guess. All right. Looks good, huh? Looks good so far. Every time I see a vaguely dark shape on the horizon, I think, is that a wolf? Is that a wolf? Is that a rock? I think it's, I think it's a rock. I have a problem with sticks. I can't I can't walk past a stick. I'm not very good at this game. I just want to put it out there. I pick up sticks when I shouldn't pick up sticks. I just can't help myself. Alright, I believe we're getting close. -ish. So at some point Terror is gonna overtake me when when the wolves see me, then I'm gonna do something. It might involve screaming. And if it does, I apologize. All right. What do we got here? I think I know where we are. Okay, we're really close, I think. Let's stop by in here. No, we've been here. This is the um, this is the first place we went. Okay, all right, it's fine. We're still close. Um, where? Yeah, see, there were these words. This we've totally been to this house. So, um, I'm I'm not very familiar with the maps, and part of this playthrough. I've decided not to look at the maps. Um, this must be the the place we came in from. So we're we're not quite there yet. In fact, I think there's a ways to go. We we must have really cut left. Uh, oh, stick. Yeah. If it were shiny, it would be even worse. I just think to myself, oh, a stick. It's one of them is so light. Um, I'll just pick up one of them. And then I think the exact same thing about the next one. That's the problem. All right. I've had some fantastic little adventures in this game where, you know, a blizzard starts up and you're down to three matches kind of thing. Learn the maps and explore it. Yeah. Half of me wishes that the maps were randomly generated, but I do like that learning the maps, it actually is an experience. Um, it's like a, it's an enjoyable thing. Oh, there's a new map coming out? That's exciting. All right, I'm glad we left so early in the day. Oh, God. I don't like it when the road narrows. Can't see what's coming around this corner. No minimum instruction in the big cave system? Interesting. Honestly, I feel like the caves are a little bit boring. But... Maybe that's just the ones that they've made. I've been through. I've been through the the one cave that connects to the lighthouse, uh, uh, the lighthouse map. Oh, shooting thing matches both of those are great. Um, hmm, this will come in handy. Wool mittens are interesting. They're a light choice to our rabbit mittens um, and a little bit heavier than kitten mittens. 
but not too much heavy. So um, cars are always an option if we get surrounded by wolves or something. We can hop in a car and then basically sit around while they contemplate uh, how they're going to eat us. Um, but what, when you're in the car, you're safe. The problem is you eventually have to get out of the car. Um, and then the, I think the last thing that is important to know is you can sleep in the car, which is kind of a big deal because you can't just sleep anywhere. Ooh, a stick! Uh, all right, deer make me feel good. Uh, the tree density. I have no idea. I haven't really been following the game's uh, progression. I, I, I know that they've been working on story mode, and that just doesn't interest me. So I sort of stop paying attention. All right, I'm getting close here. Yeah, 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 I think I see. I think this is it. So there's some cabins on the right. There's a gas station right in front of me. You can barely make it out just, just next to the road. Um, let's try to stop by one of the houses first. Ooh, that was a fall. All right, this is where the wolves come, so I'm going to be quiet for a second. See if we've got it now. So the houses can be randomly burned down. The, the positioning of the houses is the same, but whether or not they're intact is random. Oh my god, the visibility is decreasing. Alright. I'm about to run. Okay. We can at least loot this place. We might not return, but we made it. So I'm gonna take a little um, take a little second here to let my heart rate drop. This place is fantastically full of stuff. Usually. All right. What do we got? Milk. It's two cans of sardines. I love sardines. I mean, I really do. I really like sardines. Put a little hot sauce on them. Mm. Uh, lantern fuel. We're still looking for a hacksaw. We haven't found a hacksaw. And I have... Um, I have hope that there might be a hacksaw in here. Look at all this food. Uh, do I want a tiny wolf tip? Not really. Not really. Pretty much don't want any tips. Um, unless <laughs> they go in my tip jar. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, 
I think the thing that's fun about this game is because if if I were good, <laughs> you could you can watch other people who are good. Come come to me if you want to see mediocre. That's what I offer. Wool long johns. That's a fantastic find. Um, that is a really really good find. Nobody needs this anymore. Another bullet. Ski gloves. Oh my god. We are racking up the hits. Trisha Fina, thank you so much for the for the bits. I appreciate it. You're uh, you're a very good person, Trisha Fina. Trisha Fina. Is that? I think it's been it's been drunk. It's been drunkard. Um. I think that's it for this room. I mean, sometimes there's like really hard to see stuff, but all right, here's where it gets, here's where it usually gets really good. It's a cool little garage. You can build a car and you can, uh, you can drive out to safety. Joey, thank you for the bits. Y'all are, y'all are the best. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. Storm lantern. Uh, mostly gonna alert. Yeah, th thank you. Thanks for dropping by. I um, I hope you have fun. Um, let's go ahead and take the water. A cockersh, a cockersh, aka kersh, aka kersh. I kind of like that. Uh, I usually start streaming at like six p.m. Eastern time. Um. I play a lot of different games though, but this this last week I've played just the Long Dark, aka Kirsch. Um I play a lot of Oxygen Not Included, and just a bunch of random stuff. Hexel, we've got all the good tools. This stuff will Another come hunting knife. Jesus Christ! So there's also a hammer. Which is it's pretty useful, but um, it's, it's not super useful. The hacksaw is really nice because it lets us take down metal stuff, and you can cut down branches with it. So you don't need the hack um, the hatchet. Best to be prepared for anything. You can, and and even better, you can repair it. You can repair it with metal, so uh, and tools and, and whatnot. So it's hacksaw. I really like the hacksaw. It's very versatile. Versatile. Now this, wow, what a, this place is really just a, a cornucopia. We've got a, a bedroll. Uh, this place has a bed and a fire barrel. So we might spend the night here as we loot the houses that are around. I don't think... I don't think we're gonna finish. I think I can use this. Um, but we can come here and sleep in this bed. So, yeah, really got a lot of stuff here. This game can be a cruel mistress, though. We might get all the stuff and then head outside and be. A note. Two more joined us today. Seems their horse couldn't get any further. One of them is called Sean. He's from Ireland. Not quite home, but close enough. Apparently he came here for an acting career. Best thing, though, is that he's got a bag of fruit pastilles. Pastilles. I don't know. And he's going to share just with me. Probably for the best, since everyone's so paranoid. The other idiots would probably think he was trying to poison them. I thought it would be safer this far north. Plus people and all. Maybe I should leave. Thank you, Backer644. Uh, so kit. Little bits of uh, story that aren't really story. I kind of like them. Holy crap. Uh, 
Um, this is also where I've seen the moose before. It's, it's only the only place I've ever seen a moose is just right outside the gas station. Uh, and he gave me broken ribs, which takes like 30 days of rest to recover from. Something crazy. Stupid moose. If he just shared his hide, I wouldn't have to kill him. This will come handy. All right, I think that that is pretty much. Ah! Oops, I clicked too fast. But that's uh, another box of um, another box of bullets. I think it's time to start shooting stuff again. So let's drop some stuff. Put the lantern. Put a thingy. Something. We're not going to go too far, so we're going to put all the. Uh, Um, the wood. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's eat. We're super hungry. I, I really expected that we were going to have to shoot a, a wolf and and then eat him. So I, I didn't. I purposefully didn't eat very much. Uh, I, I, I much prefer to play this game as like how do you maximize your usefulness, your time. And um, so it's always on my mind, like, how do we conserve stuff? Let's throw some of this in here. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it all the same. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. Let's sort by weight. Um, some sticks. A book. I think I'll keep the hacksaw. We'll we'll try to get to pick up some metal maybe. Um, we're not going to read these while we're out. The ski gloves, though. So I don't think we saw, I don't think there's any curtains in here. So we'll definitely want to grab some cloth because I want to repair these gloves and these long johns. Um, and get, get a nice light set of clothes going. All right, this is looking much better. We're still pretty heavy. Um, actually, let's let's keep one of these. I don't think we need to carry all the bullets. Grab the wood. Forty-eight pounds. Oh yeah, we've got wool mittens too. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do with this. So they're a lot colder. But they're a lot lighter. I mean, like ten times lighter. 
All right, let's take a look at the long johns. So yeah, that's warmer. Even even non-repaired, that's warmer. Slightly. And all right, so we will. Harvest this cat. Harvest the scarf. This takes forty minutes. All right, I'm not going to do anything else because I want to go out and check these houses nearby. So let's pop these in the so-and-so. I'm kind of disappointed with the mittens. I thought they were going to be better. I mean, they're wool, for God's sakes. Okay. This feels um, some, somewhat decent. Let's. Um... All right. So we're going outside. I'm going to try to make like a circuit and look at all these houses. Um, I'm going to stick with the flare idea. If if I'm near a car, I'm probably going to run to a car. Otherwise, I'm going to try to light the flare or, you know, run to a house or something, but. Here we go. Anything. Um, I don't know if there's ever anything in these visors, but I, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything, but I, I feel like I should check them. All right, so there's at least one house there that's not burned down, I think. And I think there's one here. Oh, there's one. Strangely enough, sometimes you can find a bullet in the mailbox. Doesn't make any sense, but maybe somebody was trying to send a warning. Okay, so we've got a whole little house here with all the house kind of stuff that you might find. Wheat thins or whatever that was. Wheaties. Food. It's delicious and nutritious. Must be prepared for These people anything. must have had a very hungry dog. Um, I don't know if it was this game or if it was a different game, but it's one game where if you eat dog food, it it would make you. Um, like your stomach would grumble and the, the wolves would find you. Maybe that was like an old version of this. Like it would give you flatulence or something. Let's 
so far, a whole lot of nothing. Oops. It's a beautiful bed. It's very comfy. It's a lot of water. Um, all right, that's pretty much it for this house. The, the thing is, as you can tell, there's a lot of cloth, like the curtain, the curtains and stuff. I, I'm going to grab a couple. But I think, and now that we have the hacksaw, we can we can cut things down like toasters, um, pots and pans. This one at least. Metal is pretty useful because you can use it to repair the hacksaw, <laughs> but also you can make um, fishing hooks. Um, and eventually, if you make it to the forge. You can actually make arrow heads and all sorts of stuff. Um, but in, I'm, I'm going to go to the next house. Instead of spending time. It's a uh, hack section. We've been super lucky. Is always useful. Can't tell if there's something over there. Sometimes you'll find like stuff on these shelves. You can't pick up these bowls, but they sort of obscure the fact that there's a candy bar there or something. Sounds like the wind's picking up. I'll take it. These people uh, like to sew in this neighbor neighborhood. Nobody needs this anymore. Okay. What are we going to get? A uh, baseball cap. This stuff will come in handy. Holy crap. Holy crap. The last time I played, I never got little long johns. Uh, it's, it's always funny what you find or don't find. Somebody on Reddit posted something today that was like, he had, he had like four rifles 
but he hadn't found um, any sewing kits. <laughs> and it's just, uh, oops, it's just the luck of the draw. So these things are pretty light, they'll keep us warm, and we can definitely switch out some of this heavy stuff, like the mitts and the boots. I, I really want to find a pair of trail shoes again. It's sad that we left them. But they can use this. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing. Holy crap! Trail boots. Um, if I ask for stuff, does it just appear? I'd like. Uh, rocket launcher, please. Alright, that's pretty much it for that house. Um, again, there's a lot of metal. There's a lot of metal um, and cloth. All right, we're really heavy, but we're not very far from the garage. So that's where we're going. Let's go back to the gas station. No wolves, no wolves. We have been super duper lucky. They may just not be in the area right now. And I um, guess we'll find out the bad news tomorrow morning. Um, Shadow the Fox, welcome back. You happen to be a YouTuber. Um, cool. Hello. <laughs> I, was that in response to something I said? Because I already forgot. Let's... I don't know... We're going to have to get all this stuff back to Jackrabbit Island. Well, most of them. So the ski gloves, let's check them out. They might be, they might be better. I mean, not better than the rabbit, but you know, they save a pound and they might be decent. Hey, it's me for sure. Welcome back. Um, these, these little mittens I'm not impressed with. All right. This might be a bad idea. Oh, I know what to do. So I was going to step out into the light to, to repair these clothes. First, let me try doing it inside. I shouldn't jump the gun. Sometimes it's lighter. The game thinks it's lighter than it is. 
Um, I really like the atmosphere, yeah. Me too. I I'm a little bit terrified of the game. And it kind of it makes me scared a lot of the time. But when it's peaceful it's really nice. Um, Shadow the Fox, what, what were you talking about? I, I didn't follow. Alright, so I'm glad we didn't go outside to... try to repair these, because we can do just fine inside. The game can hear me. I, I know this. So this is a little bit of a, maybe, uh, aggressive move, because I don't need to do this, but... Let's see how those look. I mean, not look. It's not super warm, but it's a pound lighter, so that'll... That's something. After dark in winter, alone at home, that's a game to play. Yeah, um... Lurker was in here earlier. He was saying that uh, I have to play the game cold. Otherwise, it doesn't uh, it doesn't work as well. All right, bedtime. So the question is, what do we do tomorrow? We have one house. I think one house left to search. We could round up all the stuff we're going to bring back to Jackrabbit Island and just go home tomorrow. That's probably the prudent thing to do. The other thing that we could do... Uh-oh, there's an Aurora. You hear that buzzing? This is about as spooky as this game gets, I think. It's, uh... As long as the wolves don't start tearing down the walls... Yeah, I mean, it's it's very pretty. If we, if we go outside, it's pretty. But, it makes the... It makes the wildlife even more aggressive than they normally are. So, you saw another hacksaw? Where? It was in dark area. I mean, Joey, that's like, holy shit. Hmm. This will come in handy. <laughs> I was about to say that's the whole place, but uh, good eye. I I didn't see that at all. Um. That. It's not as useful as having two knives because you can repair the hacksaw. But so actually, let me let me double check. Um, let's see, action, repair, take scrap metal, yeah. So you can do it. Um, but, 
Good eye, Joe. Gotta go? All right. Have a good night, Joey. Uh, bah, bah, put that in there. Let's do a little drinky drinky. Why not use lantern? Can't see a thing. Uh, because it, it takes fuel. It takes fuel. I can see just fine, Doug. I, I mean, this is like super visible compared to uh, most of the time I stumble around in the dark. What's going on, Doug? Uh oh, does not sound good outside. Prepping a D&D &D character for Sunday game? How does one prep a D&D &D character? You give them like a pep talk? All right, you're making a new game, like a new character. I see. I'm just gonna keep eating these dog foods. Um, I generally will save the peaches and stuff because you can warm them on the fire and give you a, a, a heat buff. But it might not even make sense in this mode because it just isn't getting very cold. There's one more house. Let's see if we can get to it. Oh my god, those chains scared the shit out of me. Okay. Um I'm a little bit Looks like this has been here a while. Rancid rainbow trout. Sounds delicious. I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't encounter any sort of wolves. But I'm also pretty glad. I have to say, it's probably better this way. Maybe it's not as exciting. But uh, personally pretty happy. Yeah, we got a hacksaw. The question is, we've got so much stuff, what are we going to do next? I, I feel like we need to make a bow and arrow. Um, and then we need to make a lot of arrows. I guess, I guess I mean to say we need to make a bow. And we need to make arrows. Because we've only got... I think one arrow and maybe two arrowheads. Uh, the problem is we can't. We can't 
we, we don't have any of the wood. Alright, that's it for this house. <clears> There's <throat> probably a couple of little things I missed, but... Uh, Some nice seabirds here. All right. It's a little, you know, windy, but let's pack up maybe, Jesus, 80 pounds or something if we can afford it. Probably won't be able to get that. The tools? I don't think we have any tools on this map. Food. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Grab the knives. Food. Um. On the one hand, I'd like to make my base here. This is uh, such a cool little spot, but I, I don't think uh, I can deal with the wolves, which I just think we're lucky that they're not here today. Um, surely wool is better than fleece, right? They need to work on their UI. They should, I should be able to like control click or something to transfer all. Um, this, I find the UI to be a little tedious. When you sort by weight, the, the things move around, but the, the icon doesn't, the selection doesn't. All right, 85 pounds, that's a little heavy. We can leave a knife for sure. I I'm so bad at this. Um, we'll leave a lantern. That's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. So it's, it's quite a haul. Um, <clears throat> we'll have a, a couple of good pieces of clothes to make a, a much lighter sort of outfit for when it's not so cold, like these shoes um, or the or the trail boots, the mittens. Let's, speaking of which, let's compare these. So 0 0.8. Yeah, the wool's better than fleece. Let's drop the fleece. Well, if we ever come back here, there'll be a couple of things for us. Plenty of water and uh, a little bit of wood. Oh, is there something under the bed?
Oh, I can't pick it up. I think I guess it's an empty can. All right, let's hightail it back to our little island and uh, decide what to do from there. Get in that car. Alright, I'm gonna press this little bridge and see what we see. So there's a, there's a wolf there. Looks like deer over here. Let's let's head this way then, and then go out uh, once we get further this way. So, our next big adventure could be trying to go to the forge to make arrowheads. The problem is we haven't found a hammer. What you need. Um, sometimes you can get a hammer there, but it's not guaranteed. All right, so you can see so well. This this one over here to the right is where we live, and this one to the left was the the little homestead we visited the, an hour ago. Man, this trip couldn't have gone any better. Not a single attack. Got all sorts of clothes, a hacksaw. food. Um, Nobody needs this anymore. Climbing socks. What's a climbing sock? Is that like better than elastic? You don't even have to pull it up. It just pulls itself up. That's what it sounds like. Um, let's take a peek. Oh shit, it's actually warmer than wool. It's uh, wind resistant, water resistant. Hell yeah! I love climbing socks. Socks that put the snows on. Does that sound about right? I mean, the climbing socks. Oh shit, it's a wolf. I really, everything's flat. You can see, you can see them. Good weather, good visibility for the most part. I guess it was a little bit rough going in, but great trip. Um, I, re I vaguely remember there sometimes being little, what do you call them, saplings on some of these tiny little islands, but I, I, I didn't see them before, but we're going to go back and check this one, because we need saplings to, um, to make the bow and, and arrows. The earth is flat. I mean, I, I guess it depends on how close you are to it. Uh, when I trip and fall, it seems pretty flat. But, um, you know.
Um, all right, we've been we've been to this one, but like I said, just just double check. Hey, we missed it. Uh, we'll rule it out now. It, they I know they spawn in certain locations, but it's it's random if they spawn or not. Problem is I don't know what those locations are. I just vaguely. It seems very unlikely, very unlikely that the Earth is flat. I think, um, I think I wouldn't bet. Wouldn't bet in that direction. Um, now, if we don't, if we don't go the bow and arrow route, and I, I, I also know that I'm really bad at the bow and arrow. I don't think I've ever hit anything. We should probably try killing a deer at some point if they, if they wander up, you know, semi close by, just for the meat. But maybe that's not such a good idea. Maybe the bullets are too precious. But we did find ten bullets. Oh god. Hey Risto! What's up man? Welcome in the ice. Ice is nice. Just got a little, uh, a little chilly. I'm feeling goosebumps, you know. Uh, this game is a survival game, uh, but there's no zombies or anything like that. It's just very, very cold and there's nobody else around and you have to find food and try not to get eaten by the wildlife mostly wolves but um, you can freeze to death go hungry go thirsty it's like the sims but with more death and rabbits Well, we made it home. Um, go ahead and call victory on that little expedition. Pick up some victory sticks. Um, probably spend the rest of the day here. Need to decide what to do next. Uh, let me, let's take a look over here, actually. I think I see something. Even though it's windy, the visibility is pretty good. Death and Rabbits. All you need for a great game. What is that? Oh, it's a boat. Sadly, you cannot get in the boat or paddle around or anything. So we've got about 20 bullets now. Maybe that was premature. We've wasted the flare, but oh shit, it's coming, it's coming. Oh my god, oh my god. I think it, no, no, no. Is that a rabbit? I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. 
problem is I didn't drop a, um I didn't drop my stuff down, so I can't run. Little rabbit, little rabbit, please. Uh, why don't you go run to the wolf? All right, maybe I should have dropped stuff off. Maybe I should have dropped stuff off, huh? Uh, Risto, welcome, welcome to our house. We have um, commandeered this place in the name of the Sucrose Streaming Extravaganza. It's beautiful. I picked the sofa myself. Um, if you don't think it's beautiful, you're wrong. Oh, matches. Um, I figured we, we, we lit this flare, might as well look around and get a closer look, you know. Can't, uh, can't unlight a flare, sadly. This is like our third house? Yeah, I don't know. I, I would say second. We spent a lot of time at, the, um, at that place on the lake. Before that, we didn't really hunker down anywhere. Um, we just, we were vagabonds, you know, but, but then we, then we owned property. I don't see anything else, so let's, nice, very cozy, yeah, I think so too. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away. Now, honestly. I don't know where to put those in the floor. All right, but let's do sewing primer away. We'll put the knife, some peanut butter. Uh, clothes go in the other place. Too slow internet? Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. It's probably it's probably not high speed. Um I'm sorry, was this I I don't Painkillers. Um, Canadian internet. If you can live with bad ping, a speed of satellite is an option. I have a feeling that none of that works, considering um, considering that this is the apocalypse. You know, more or less. Let's move this stuff over to here. So, what do we want to do? Uh, pants are heavy. Boots are heavy. We're gonna we're gonna wear sneakers. See how warm that is. Those are. Um, the mittens are heavy. Let's not do that. Let's do the. Um, not fleece mittens, but wool mittens. Baseball caps, socks. We've got this thin wool sweater. Maybe we can replace one of our heavy ones with it. Oh, flare went out. It lasts for a while, huh? It's Canada? Yeah, it's Canada. It's Canada in, like, after an apocalyptic event. So... We'll go back to the sneakers just because they're light. That's probably a bad idea because they're not waterproof, but we'll switch to the mittens. Um, so this sweater is super warm. 
but it's 2.2 pounds. This is half a pound. So let's see how let's see how much weight we can save. Not weight. Let's see how much um, heat we need for like the typical egg. See, we're still above temperature. Way above temperature. So I'm pretty happy with uh, saving weight. Ideally, we'd want light clothes that were water and wind resistant. Um, and maybe we'll look, be on the lookout for that. But for now, I'm going to get rid of the sweater. I think I'll keep both of the pants. Um, but yeah, I'd like a, a different shoe. And that's that, so we'll repair these. The last clown alive in Canada, we've got to survive the apocalypse blizzard storm. It's pretty much true. So here, here we are, um, looking fairly dapper, I must say. We're wearing a jacket made out of wolf skins that we've killed the wolves and crafted ourselves. Pretty proud. Pretty proud. Mm, to repair these, you need uh, hide. All right, let's. I don't like the idea of our feet being. Having no waterproof stuff, and I don't want to repair it because it's not that impressive. So let's let's do trail boots. It's still it's still lighter. Okay, so that's pretty good, huh? We we actually have room for a, a torso, a jacket. If we have something light, this is two point two pounds. Um. For people who go hiking really far, they spend a lot of time thinking about the weight <clears throat> of um, of the stuff they carry because they have to carry it for so long, and uh, try to minimize try to minimize that weight. Let's put all these things away. Lantern fuel. We'll throw this outside or something. Or just in a corner. Um, I think I'll put that in here in case we can't see at night. We need to, it's easier to find the fridge. Drop that down. All right, our weight is looking better. Uh, okay, let's put all this food away. If you put a ruined item in a container, it disappears. I did not know that. Thank you. Flarian. Flar 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 Thanks for the tip. Um, man, look at all this food we got. What what a wonderful wonderful haul that was. Um, how do you know they're not in a bucket of ice? How do you know they're not in a bucket of ice? What makes you think? The, my feet are not in a bucket of ice. Actually, how much water? We don't have a lot of water. Okay, let's take... This little guy don't seem to be very, very cold. I'm just really good at hiding it.
Yeah, you can you can melt snow. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Look at that. We've got our new little outfit on and we're still not cold. Um, is that wolf gone? Shoot the wolf, huh? I mean, oh shit, there he is. So I, I'm going to make a fire to make uh, water. And I, I'm thinking of shooting the wolf. It's probably not a, it's probably not a good use of our bullets. But I really don't like how close he is. Like, what if he finds his way up to the to the manor? Go find a bear. Um, I really want a moose because I want to get that carry capacity upgrade. Um. Cannot tame a tame a wolf. They are monsters, Gristo. They're absolute monsters. You can make traps for rabbits, but you can't trap a wolf. <sighs> Look how far away he was. Oh, fuck. So, okay, it's not good. He tore our clothing. Um, he didn't run straight at me, so I couldn't get a good shot. Sprained wrist. Let's go ahead and, how do you do this? I'm gonna take a painkiller, because I can't pick up my gun. The problem is, So I, I think he went up the hill and so went to the left. There he is. And stay out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go chasing after him. Find a puppy at least to try to tame him. Um, I wish. I wish you could tame him because then I would send them out to attack their own kind, and I could stay out of it. Let's look at uh, the damage. Just about destroyed um, a bunch of our clothes. Well, I, it wasted, yeah, maybe, if, if you're a negative person. But he did go away. Shit, there he is. See, this is, this is the thing that gets you in this. It's like, um, because if this were any other game, 
the game wouldn't really punish you for going and killing something, you know? But in this game, we've already wasted two bullets, and now I want to make up for that loss and, like, and kill it, you know? But I have to stop myself, I think. Um... Let's hope, let's hope he doesn't come back. Oh, that's a long time. Alright, we'll just be on the lookout for him. Wait, why is there... Why are there birds? Here. Did you hear that? So birds indicate um, something dead. Oh man, really feel that wind, huh? Those birds go. Were they just flying around? Okay, well. All right, so uh, the original plan was to make some water. We're actually pretty tired, but... It helps to make... To try to make a fire uh, where the wind can't get to it. Guess right up against the house. Hold on. Oh, I think <laughs> I think it's um, the guy upstairs is vacuuming, and uh, and I was like, I think there's a bear. We don't have a fireplace inside. That's, what I think, the really shitty thing about this particular abode. If I if I hadn't attacked that wolf, uh, weather well, was a lot better then. But I think we'll be fine. So. The vacuum vacuum spite, yeah. I don't, I don't trust anything that makes so much noise. So we found plenty of food in the garage, but that's not going to sustain us. It's going to last for, you know, a few days, um, and then we will be hungry. So I think our ultimate goal is to make a bow and arrow, um, and that way we can hunt deer or try to figure out how to hunt deer. The rabbits come back, yeah. All the wildlife respawn. Um, but none, like, nothing else responds, you know? Plants don't respawn. Um, 
Looting doesn't respawn. Just animals. So we... It's possible to live on rabbits, but it's insanely boring. I, I've done it before, and all you do the whole day is gather wood, kill rabbits, skin the rabbits, cook the rabbits, because they don't give many calories. But you can do it, but it's super boring. Uh, so I don't want to do that. Feels like night is coming. You think the plants respond? I, I'm 100% sure they don't. I mean, I'm 99% sure they don't respond. Um, you know, the idea is that it's like, I guess, the dead of winter or whatever, but the, the developers don't really want you living forever, so that's part of it. Um, but uh, Denim's Wrath 666, welcome. How's it going? Um, I may have just ruined the fire. Oh no, perfect. Is that enough? Should I do, should I do another? Let's do, let's do just a, just a, oop, not that much. Let's do that much. Yep. So the so there's like mushrooms. There's rose pe rose yeah, hips. I carry much more. There's um, the saplings. And um, as far as I'm aware, none of them is wrong. A stalk run you have cold fusion and efficient. Machine feats. Um, I don't don't know what those are. Um, is that is that where you do something enough and then you get some like small benefit? I think they're in here or something. I don't even know where they are. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. If you run like 2,000 miles or something, you get uh, some small uh, small buff. Oh, you choose them too? Okay, let's see. Um, all right, it's bedtime. Let's go sit the sack. So we got a nice, maybe two gallons, two and a half gallons there. That'll last a couple days. Um, what are we going to do about food? I see. You get to two. Pick, you get to pick two feet to enter level. Um, Well, I I don't know much about that. I I know we're on essentially stalker now, but I've I've customized it a little bit. Um, I don't think I've ever played an interloper. I was reading though that it seems more like how I usually play. I usually do custom, where I make the cold much worse, and the you don't find as much stuff. Um, set all the settings like to very low for whether you find things. And then, um, and then I make the wolves pass it. Um, I must like I already have it. I don't know, probably not, because I think they added that stuff. I've played a lot much. Let me say it again. Most of the playing that I've done has been before they added all that stuff. Um, I think I started playing like two years ago. But I haven't really played a whole lot recently. <clears throat> um, I've, I've played a couple of games since they added the custom stuff, but uh, most of my playing was before that. Alright, we've got a good supply of water. 
Weather outside does not sound super hospitable, but we have a few things to do. We need to repair our clothes from the most recent, I would say wolf attack, but you know, technically we were both good. Well, on the other hand, it ran at us first, so. Yeah, I don't know. How do you how do you see the feet? I don't I don't think I have them. All right, let's. I mean, I definitely don't have them because they didn't ask me to pick anything. Oh, go to the main menu? Oh, okay. You can't see the game? Oh, never mind. Alright, let's, um, let's repair our clothes. We, we really messed up with the wolf. But it's no biggie. Mistakes happen. But he'll think twice about coming up our way. Oh, come on. Chance of success, 85. Bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. There's no way we made three 15% checks in a row. lose this because it's this is the only thing pretty much I think that exists for that slot not harvest Jesus Christ all right we need more cloth Up? How does that's not even possible? Sucks because you have to use cured leather to repair that. Apparently so, Lurker. Apparently attacked our feet and and somehow went through um, leather hiking shoes. Seems a little suspicious to me, but I think these these wolves have superpowers. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. What do we got? Put the wood in the in the other room. Some wood matches. Um, I think we're gonna need that. I didn't even know you could drag them. All right. Wait, is this the... We should uh, clean our gun. Uh, 
Wait. Really? 97? I thought it was down to 80. Huh. Alright. Uh, don't need to clean the gun. Alright, let's drop the wood and see what our weight looks like. Honestly, still. I mean, we've got a lot of shit. I'm just gonna, um, just gonna do a few little things so I hear that wind die down. So let's put. Oh, we have some cloth in here. Okay. Um, once we get good enough at fire starting, we'll have to carry tinder around. And also a book. I always bring a book to make it a uh, high chance to start the fire. That's a little extra weight. All right. Let's see what it looks like outside. Um, well, we were just at the, the garage, the, the gas station. The problem with the gas station is that there are too many wolves that come right up to your door. And, uh, oh, look. There's a deer. It's like, um, delivery. shot, one kill. Where'd it go? There it is. Um, it's already starting to freeze, but... worried about it getting too cold, but I don't think that's going to happen, so. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it has a fire bear, which is really nice. I mean, it's a great place to live if you're not worried about um, wolves, and uh, I am. We had a pretty bad experience back in Mystery Lake. Just wolf after wolf after wolf. We couldn't do anything. And I don't want to have that again. It got um, it got pretty boring. Yeah, I've seen the I've seen the well, moose. Um, all right, let's cook this food. This food is going to last for a while. We'll cook, um, you know, a few steaks.
Um, perhaps, perhaps I, I chose not to make that call. Chose to do something different. Um, but if it works for you, that's good. Um, I'm not going to cook all of it. It'll keep pretty well out in the snow, and then when you're ready to eat it, you can cook it. Carrying 20 pounds of uh, deer meat. It's not surprising that it's heavy. Let's, let's use a stick. I don't think we're in a rush. Actually, let's take the charcoal first. Let's draw a little bit. Uh, a little bit of, of a map. Find the moose are paying about to spawn on their walking path. Come on, little fire. Come on. So you have to hope they spawn right in front of you pretty much. Um Yeah, I, I think I think it's uh, similar to the bear in that they have certain places where they have a chance to spawn. But I'm not really sure. And Oh yeah. They're pretty mean. I've gotten. I've, I've, I've had one break my ribs before. Also in game. Well, I was hoping to get out and go to those. Um, few little places out to the left that we haven't been to. Um, but this is good. This gives this makes me feel a little better because we don't have to worry about eating our long lasting food. We can eat this disposable stuff. Cook it all. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. She eats like a horse, though, I have to say. So. <laughs> we only have three steaks left. Uh, I'm just gonna cook it. Cook the whole deer. She can't uh, help herself. Oh my god, the wolves are freaking me out. Oh, that's, that's a lot longer than I expected, but... Oh, no. So that's the Aurora. I hope, I hope they're not so aggressive that... Uh, There you go. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. Hmm. 
very pretty and very deadly. No, I think um, I think there's a number of places that most most show up. Um, it's like I, I think all the animals have prescribed places where they where they appear, and then once they appear, they kind of wander. Um, but obviously, there's a whole lot more wolf spots than there are bear spots or, or or moose spots so people tend to want to know where the bear where the bear and the moose spawn How does she eat? How does she eat half of a deer? She just swallowed half a deer. Um, yeah, from any, from a map, you can eventually get to any of the other maps. They're connected through tunnels and mines and things like that. Like, we had to go across the railroad bridge and all that stuff to get here. All right, let's put... Um, all right, so I'm going to take out the water. I don't know, sure I can carry much more. The water will just go right here in front. don't all connect to each other. You can't you can't go to any map directly. But if you wander around you can eventually get to any map. Let's uh let's take a little drawing. Of our beautiful abode. Jack Rabbit Island. So it's kind of an interesting, it's sort of an interesting mechanism. You have to have charcoal, and you have to stand outside when the visibility isn't too low, and you have to draw your own map. The problem is, it's a super cool idea, but it's it doesn't feel finished. So if you're on a hill, you don't get any advantage to the to the distance you can draw and stuff like that. So, uh, it's it's like, they can do better. They can do better than what they've done. Deer hide, dry that out. Um... We don't really need this charcoal. Yeah, I really wish they had a compass. Oh man, I love a compass. Yeah, it's a cool concept. It's super cool concept. I don't, well, how did I wind up putting all these matches in what we're using to store food?
food. Let's drop and dry out the um, gut. Don't feel like there's a whole lot else we can do without. Yeah, it'd be neat if you could just find maps too, even if they were torn or something. You only saw, saw part of it. Because there's bound to be, like, people made maps, you know. And, and, because of the, because the maps are identical every time you play, you shouldn't have to map it every time you play. It's tedious. So if you go through the trouble of mapping the entire game, and you die, even though you've, you, it's the exact same map, you have to do it again. And I just, uh, that really bothers me. Either make the maps random or make it so I don't have to map it every time. So I kind of like to just ignore the maps because it's more fun, it's more fun to learn it you know, by heart. Not that I'm particularly good at it, but you know. Um, so it's kind of cold, but it's not that cold. I want to... I want to head over here. Should we, do, should we go for flare? Actually, you know what? We've got um, this meat. That uh, the wolves are gonna go for that. All right. Oh, still a little bit left. So you can just press three to drop a decoy. I mean, they call it decoy, like, like it's gonna. Like, the wolf's going to be confused, you know, but, um... um oh, it's getting colder. I'm going anyway. Boy, this, uh, the wind is pretty rough. So if we, st if we stand behind this rock, uh, we're shielded from the wind. It's actually warm enough that our temperature's going up. Feels like 35. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. But I just have to follow these little islands. And there should be a place to sleep when we get over there. So that's why I'm not too worried. Normally I'm much more conservative, but... these stones back for the rabbits. Now, I don't know. I've heard people say 
that they model smell and wind together. I don't know if that's true, but in a storm like this, you'd think the uh, the wolves wouldn't be able to smell you. Uh, looks like a wolf to the left. So as much as I want to try the decoy thing, I'd rather just not smell, so I'm going to eat the rest of this meat. Do I have two pieces, or are we just really unlucky? I must have two pieces. Oh, that's not a wolf, that's a deer. Okay. soda buried in the snow. Um, now, I've seen wolves here before, climbing around on the docks and whatnot. Oops. soda would freeze out in the cold. I wonder if it would make the game more interesting or just more tedious if uh, you couldn't drink the soda if it got down cold enough. Because so I went camping once in the in the cold cold. I mean, nothing like this game sometimes, but like negative 20. And my shampoo froze. My every everything I bought to drink froze. Um, I didn't even know shampoo froze. I guess everything freezes. So this is the workbench. Oh shit. Another knife. We're we're just flush with knives. This stuff will come in handy. And uh, yeah, so I've tr I've had to come out here to make things in the outdoors. You got to go inside to warm yourself up. It's kind of a pain. the day. So I'm thinking I'll actually take the time to break down a little of this stuff. Like like the curtains and um, maybe a, a crate. Two crates. Maybe crates don't take long. So technically, the amount of cloth in the game is finite. Or at least it used to be. They, they added that mechanic where things can wash up out in the water there. And I don't know if cloth can wash up, but I think matches can wash up. So technically, matches aren't finite anymore, but it's, it's really risky to go out and get them. Oh, 
That's not very useful. Since we have so many knives, maybe I should just use them. It went uh, from 76 oh, down to 74. Well, that's why I don't use them, I guess. Alright, I don't think I'll break down any more crates, but uh, I might get whatever cloth is in the next cab. Weather's gotten a lot nicer. It's a fancy cabin. I think I can use this. Say four minutes and it takes two percent. I, I, I guess it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Oh, wait, that one didn't take uh, percent. Seventy two. Seventy. How does it? <laughs> Is it just one percent and sometimes it shows up twice? Or I don't even I don't know. Oops. It's kinda of weird. Alright, I think we're good for cloth. I'll probably uh, never use all this, but we didn't have a whole lot. I'll just loot these two. I was really hoping that we would find some of those. Um, saplings uh, on the way out here because I'm not exactly sure where to go to get to get what we need to make a bow and arrow and so we might have to do a little bit of uh, wandering which might be exciting but Looks like that fancy one. Actually, I will get some metal. I see. Um. All right, 
Well, we, we have 10 and a half pounds of rocks. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, drop some of them. Uh, six pounds of cloth. It's a lot of cloth. That's a lot of cloth. All right, we can drop some sticks for sure. That puts us underweight. God, an hour and a half? That might have been a bad idea. It's getting late. Okay. Well, the weather seems favorable, so let's head back home for the night. See if there's maybe anything out on this little dock. Um, but yeah, we had some birch saplings, I believe, from the last map, but we forgot to bring them with us. Slash, we were overweight. Um, I could sleep there. I could sleep there, but I, I don't feel... I don't feel like we need to. I, I know how to make my way back, and it's not too, too late. Um, if it were darker, I probably would. <clears throat> yeah, so... I, this is pretty, I don't know what to do. We have to find those saplings, which I think just basically means wandering around in the woods. So tomorrow, maybe we'll head here and we'll try to follow something like a river. I know there's just like a maybe a campground looking thing over on the that part of the map. So maybe we can head up there and look for these um, saplings. And once we get those, we can make ourselves a bow and arrow. And then the, then the deer will really fear us. The wolves probably not so much. All right. Now we got rabbit weapons. So let's kick some rabbit butt. Sky's really pretty. Here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Sweet. Wow. See, how come how come I could kill it? Oops. Fucking no, god damn it. <laughs> no, it's my rabbit! God damn it. That's what I get for talking shit. That's what I get for talking shit. Come back here. Oh, look at him. Fucking rabbits. God damn it. They see when you throw. I, I, think, I think that's true. God damn it. I 
I hit him first throw, and then he woke up. Now I've lost all my rocks. Well, this is not going well. I got distracted by sticks. Pretend it's a water balloon. Do clowns make water balloons? I feel like clowns make air balloons. At one point, I knew how to make a a dog. God damn it. Rabbit, listen. We gotta talk, buddy. Yeah? You gonna go out on the ice, huh? You gonna go on the ice and find some uh, find some wolves? Is that what you're gonna do? Bullshit. Alien balloons, yeah, that's true. Man, I think they get skittish after you throw something. But I might just be making that up. That's what I'm talking about. We've lost, uh, lost about 10 rocks. them stones anyway. I feel like rich people call them stones. What happens if we throw it in the water? <laughs> Not much. So I want to say that sometimes you can find things out here. Oh, there the birds are. I'm kind of interested in going and seeing if we can get out there. I think it's dangerous, but I'm kind of curious. Uh, all right, Lurker. Have a nice night. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the the tip or the rule. I'm not sure which. <clears throat> Thank you.
not sure if we had a pile for <coughs> claimed wood, so I'll just and... Alright, we're at 44. Let's see if there's enough light. I'm gonna investigate that little body again. I'm not sure if we can find our way over there, but I'll take another gander. And that, that might be where <coughs> stuff washes up. And I, I, I've heard it's dangerous. I don't know. I've never been... Um, I can only imagine that they... They wouldn't make it so that you could just get free stuff. But we'll try to be careful. Ooh, a stick. Yeah. We weren't crazy. heard those crows. <clears throat> like, is this going to break? Solid. Damn it. How good are you, corpse? Well, we found it. We found the corpse. Not very tired. It's not very cold, so take advantage. Um, one of the nice features of this place is the frequent wood, very close to the house. So the travel brochure. Said, at least. Little rabbits running around like they're taunting me here. Actually, some of it's. To, um, some of it's cedar. I didn't realize. Did they fix this? The cursor's following the item now. Trail boots. What? 76. Yeah, we're not going to repair 76. <clears throat> it's 
So let's put that in there, like that. <coughs> Um, so we could do a little reading. I think, I think it's probably late enough. That we can just head to the... is this way. All right, let me check something. One, one second. <clears throat> okay. Thirty-two days. 12 hours. It's pretty exciting. Honestly, if we didn't leave this house, we'd probably survive another week at least. But we're going to go out. And going to find a way to make a bow. If we're really lucky, we'll find a bow and some arrows. Um, this rabbit can just stay in here for a while. We'll, we'll deal with him later. Um, let's bring some peaches. So um, we're going to do something which I think is probably one of the most dangerous things, uh, which is wandering. And I've gotten lost in these woods so many times because once you get in the woods, you can't see the coastline. And when you can't see the coast, you can't ori I can't orient myself. Um, and um, like we were saying earlier, when you pull up the map, it doesn't give you uh, an arrow or anything like that. So I'm going to grab a couple of things. Uh, we'll get some... That's a good amount of water. Uh, I'm just going to drop it right here. They must have fixed this. That's great. And then I like to travel with a piece of cedar. Take a look, see how cold it is. But um, I, I probably switched to the uh, to the deer pants because I, I bet they have more protection. Um, we'll, we'll look at the stuff to compare. It'd be neat if you could save things as an outfit and then switch around. But, all right, so this has, um, let's see if you can see this. Let me. Yeah, so the shield, which you can see, is 2%. That tells you what how much um, protection it offers. So it offers 5%. It's a lot warmer 
It's a lot heavier, but we're going to switch to it. Stick with that. So 1%, 5%, it's a lot warmer. Switch, we're going to be all um, decked out here. So 5%, 4%, so this is actually more protection, but this is a lot more heat. I think we'll be fine on heat. This hasn't seemed like a super cold map. Um, it just compares 10% versus 3%. So um, can I go with the deer skin? And we'll wear the better pair of cargo pants. So we are pretty decked out. All decked out in the latest styles. Let's, let's put the jump back and see how bad it looks uh, in terms of weight. Fifty. It's pretty high. A lot of it is water and food. All right, the only thing I'm going to grab is maybe painkillers or sprains and things. All right, let's see if the weather is going to cooperate with our plans. Well, it's certainly warm in, um, in all this get up. Now it's actually pretty chilly, so it's, it's negative 10 out. So it's only warm because of uh, all our food, I mean our clothes. Now, I'm not going to go into the woods like this, but we can make our way back to those little cabins. Um, if I were better at this game, I would probably leave the gun. It's insanely heavy. And are we gonna shoot charging wolves in the in the woods? No. No, we're not. But I'm too scared. Um And hey, what if we what if we find a a moose? Should definitely attack a moose, right? Did I go the wrong way? The hell is that? So if you listen for cracking, not like the mythical sea creature. You should hear cracking before you go too far off. Like if you get spun around. I think that's where we got the soda. I think we're I think we found it. So we'll just hop in one of these beds maybe and spend an hour.
think whenever she makes that sound, you you just passed a skill check to check whether or not you twisted your ankle. So this is where we were just, just yesterday. Grab a little souvenir. Um, is there anything that we can do first that takes time that's useful? We can read. Let's... Mm. So I didn't take the sleeping bag. I had meant to take the sleeping bag. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Got a little frog in my throat. So without the sleeping bag, we're going to get tired, and we're not going to be able to go to sleep. And if we're lost, we're really screwed. I should go back and get it. <clears throat> we just won't get lost. <clears throat> Okay. Um, actually, I know what we'll do. If we get enough cloth and and sticks, you can make a snow fort, uh, which is pretty cool. If you're if you've never made a snow fort before, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. You can uh, pretend you're a snow scientist in his snow laboratory or you know like a like a snow villain in his master fortress or if you want like a snow good guy i guess but i don't know why you do that so i want to say it's like a bajillion sticks plus four cloth let's see Five cloth, I'm glad we checked. Five cloth and 15 sticks. I think we left some cloth in here, right? And then we've got one left over just to make a bandage out of or something if we need to. Okay, so let's take. Um, let's take a. I was gonna. I was gonna read, but because we don't have a sleeping bag, I'd rather be rested. So let's take an hour, um, and see if the weather, the visibility is improved. <clears throat> Whoa! Keep ourselves topped up on drink. That'll. Lower the weight a bit. Not looking great. That bed was a little lumpy, so I'm going to come in here. Get all my sticks. Let's do, let's do one more hour. <clears throat> um, if this doesn't look good, I think I'll head back 
because it's getting late and we'll get the sleeping bag and try tomorrow. It's looking pretty good. Alright. Let's do it. I'll take it. We we found so many tools in this playthrough, it's ridiculous. I, I just, we have like six knives, three hatchets, two crowbars, and a partridge. Um, let me go ahead and get the sticks. Which is uh, maybe a little overly cautious. And remember, I don't know where we're going, so I'm gonna follow the road till it goes over here. And if we see a river, which I think there's a river somewhere, we'll follow it. But um, um, as you know, or may know if you've been watching the last couple days, next to rivers you get. Uh, Cattails, which are the most beautiful of all of God's creation. Or Thor, um, or Vishnu, wh whoever you're into. But cattails are pretty sweet. Because they're very light, they last forever, and they, they are food. You can eat them. They're nature's hot dogs. Now you might be saying hot dogs are nature's hot dogs, too, Chris. Yeah, it's true. That's these. This is. Oh shit! There, there, there it is. That's 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 go up there. Uh, maybe after we check this out. Sometimes you can find stuff in the back seat. Wes, I'm going to try to make it to Mystery Lake. I'm running low on everything. But space, space, we can find enough to get us through till spring. And then we can try to make it back to Calgary. Meet me there. We'll stay for a while. Follow the tracks in from the Carter, which is the dam. You see the lodge building. But we'll make for the cabins across the lake. Bring anybody you can find to bring a food and a deck of cards. See you soon. Heather, that's kind of that's kind of sweet. It's kind of cute. I think we have we have the stuff because it's lit up now. Still underweight. So I I don't know what's here, but it's the end of the road. That generally speaking, there's something to loot if you follow the roads out. see anything. Okay. It's, it's a named location, but there doesn't appear to be anything here. So, that's cool. That's cool. Night hasn't yet shown its ugly head, so we're going to continue with the plan. Could go up there and maybe follow the edge of the world.
This is what we're looking for. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. To make a bow, it takes one cured maple sapling and two cured guts. It takes a cured birch sapling to make an arrow. So we just found a birch sapling. So we still can't make a bow. Um, I don't like not following a river, especially towards night. But we, we have the mountain to the left, and we just found a sapling, so it feels good. You know? God, I wish we had a compass. I feel like the weather's getting worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's getting worse. Oh, hello. So I'm not going to take the meat because it smells. I don't want to cook it. Uh, oh, God. It's getting cold. It's getting, obviously, a little windy. I'm going to head right back down. We can follow the road. Please tell me this is the right, right, right down. Um, we can follow the road and get back to those cabins and we can spend the night. And, yep. Found the road. So tomorrow... Oh, that's where we took the sapling. Tomorrow we'll... Um, We'll follow the river. Oh wow, it got cold. Quick. It's triple. It's getting colder too. It's triple arrow down. Um, with all of our nice gear on. Crap, we didn't put the park on. I'm gonna run. So we're actually missing a slot. We should have put the park on. I, it's funny because uh, it's been a long time since we've seen triple arrows, actually, since we've made the wolf coat and stuff. Did I miss it? Did I pass it? Maybe I should hug the wall. Try to keep out of the wind. It looks like the wind's coming from straight ahead. Fingers are numb. Yeah. Did I pass it? <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna feel like a, like a big old dork. There's something. Let's whatever it is. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Did you see that? Hypothermia risk, and then uh, we immediately got indoors, so it was healed. Um, I'd say that went about as uh, about as well as you could expect. Um, hypothermia risk is kind of a misnomer. I think the way that it works is it's just telling you. you're in dire straits and eventually you'll get some kind of upgraded status and they'll say like hypothermia 
inevitable or something. And at that point, you actually have a chance to get hypothermia. But until that happens, um, nothing to worry about. Well, so we could <laughs> we could try to make it back to the house, and that would let us get the sleeping bag and dump all the stuff we picked up. Like, we wouldn't have to have all the sticks. We wouldn't have to have the cloth. We wouldn't have to have the hide. I mean, we don't. We could drop the hide anyway. We can get the nice jacket. That's what I'd like to do. So, oh, we're, we're waterlogged too. Um, so let's, let's do the thing where we spend a little time and see what happens. Um, We'll do like a, a little hour to get our temperature up. Sounds pretty shitty outside, still. But it's not that cold. Question is, if we find our way home. Oh, it's cold when you get into the wind. Psych. Okay. Maybe it'll be a nice night. Clear. Clear sky. Doesn't really sound like it, huh? read for like 55 minutes and um, then it decides it's too dark to read. It honestly sounds worse. Hi Jean. Or Jean. Um, I'm quite well. Um, our character is, is okay, but uh, as you can hear, we're trying to wait out a storm. <clears throat> the weather is... Well, the weather's a little rough. Um... <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Is John or just John? John. Um. Cool. What's what's uh what's going on? You like the long dark? You play the long dark? We can't read. We can't really do anything useful. Um, we're not tired. Now let's just sleep for an hour and see what it see what it does. Maybe it'll clear up and it'll be beautiful, and we can just walk out. That would be ideal. This sounds like crap. 
pull each other out. Oh. Been supporting this since early Kickstarter days. Cool. Are you excited, uh, or are you um, are you liking how the game turned out? This is really dark. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chance it. I can't I can't try that walk. Uh, maybe maybe if it stops snowing. It'll get um, it'll get brighter. See, it looks bright. It's amazing every time there's a, an update or start for it because it's a better version of the story. Do you like the? Are you? Do you play the story mode or? Do you play sandbox? We're gonna go for it, guys and gals. see just enough, but I think I can follow these little islands back. Unless we get attacked by a wolf or something. Story Sandbox and the Challenges. I actually haven't played uh, the Story or the Challenges. I've only played the Sandbox. But I've, I've been playing it for years now. Um, not particularly good. I usually play with the wolves turned to passive, but this game we're playing on stalker, um, essentially stalker mode, and the wolves have given us trouble. You may have seen a look of fright on my face. The um, the flare scared me. I thought it was a wolf. Um, Sean says, I will say bears in this game are evil. Had a few horrible experiences with them. <clears throat> Try the story? Um, maybe. I'm not really interested in the story, I guess. Uh, haven't heard a whole lot good about the story mode. Like... It's just fetch quests. That's what I. That's what I've heard. I really like um, the little notes that backers put in. Do you have a? Do you have a note? Do you have a backers note? Or um, a cairn? What is it? Hey, we made it. All right. It's going to go better tomorrow. We're going to get the sleeping bag. I'm going to drop all this junk. Okay. Drop, drop, a drop, a drop. A, um, we can also drop the birch. Sapling. Um, put that stuff away, put the sticks down, I 
Honestly, I can put the, the hatchet away. We found the hatchet. Um, okay, and, we, and, and before I forget, I'm just going to do all the stuff that we talked about doing. So I'm going to get the coat. Um, and I'm gonna get a sleeping bag. Um, I don't know which. Yeah, let's get the shitty one. Um, don't remember to be honest. Oh, don't remember to be honest. Gotcha. I thought you were telling me. I thought it was imperative. Don't remember, to be honest. Stories fetch grass and survival because it's smart. It's a good combo in your opinion. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll try it. All right. Um, I think we're ready for take two, right? We've done everything we talked about doing. I think um, it's super heavy. Let's um, let's fill up with some meat here. Well, as much as two pieces of meat is gonna do us. All right. So. We're actually really well rested. Um, let's grab let's grab another book. Let's go outside and see if we can read a couple of uh, a couple of hours. We almost finished this one. Um, it's very ragey with the fetch parts. When you see the storyline, how it goes pretty smooth. Wait, what happened? We're outside! Oh man! Oh, that's disappointing. I, I didn't even know it got too dark outside. Um, may, maybe I'll just uh, watch somebody play it. I guess. But now I really don't know what to do. Um, Can we do in the dark? We can I think chop lumber, but that's about it. How do we say lumber? It's not lumber. Chop wood. In some sense, I kind of like the mystery um, of not knowing what happened. Maybe we'll head out just before dawn. Perfect. All right, so we'll put we'll put both of these back. That's not a great move, but it's not a bad move either. And I'm gonna grab a little more water. Wait, where's our water? Oh yeah. Have you ran into the bears yet? Um, well, not in any bad way. When we started the game, we immediately found a wolf and a bear. Um, wolves have been the real killer. We, oh wait, I'm doing the wrong stuff, hold on. Um, we ran away from that bear, sorry. We ran away from that wolf ran, we started in Mystery Lake, we ran to the train tracks, 
a wolf spotted us, attacked us. Um, we got, we went to the trailers, got pinned in the trailers by a different wolf. Um, then we made it to the lodge and we had like three wolves by the house and, and two more wolves on the way to the trapper's cabin. It's been, it's been mostly wolf spam. Um... But yeah, we haven't engaged a wolf. Uh, you've had one really not nice bear experience. Um, what did you What did you do to the wolf? So I feel like you have to do something to them for them to uh, chase you. It's kind of hard to see, as you can see. But I'm pretty sure, I think we can make it to back to the huts. Maybe. This is right, right? I'm, I'm, if I said wolf, I meant bear. What did you do to the bear? Because I feel like they leave you alone unless you bother them. What did you do to that bear? Okay, so far so good. I see the next one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hear those crows? They'll be there forever. Uh, you got out of the cabin. You found a rifle. Down to 12%. Just getting ready to leave. And the bear charged at you. That was round one. You, you left a cabin, and outside the cabin was a gun that had 12%. And then a bear charged at you as you found the gun. Did you Did you shoot him? All right. Now I wish I had brought those books, but uh, each each of the books is a pound. That's why I left them. Because uh, we need to wait for it to clear up. So sleep. Uh, we're gonna go up the road again. <coughs> we're going to look for the little river. Oh dear, hold on. <coughs> and we're gonna go up the river. Can't get lost on a river, right? Uh, round two, you're halfway to your home base, and the bear came back. That time you shot him, didn't go down, it's still alive. 
then round happened. Round three. <clears throat> yeah, when you shoot them and they don't die, that's the worst part. These pants are still wet. weather. Oh god. Speaking of bears. Speaking of bears, there was a bear right there in the parking lot. <clears throat> So we could try to kill it, but I, I still don't think we're at that point where we need to kill a bear. So we're going to leave it alone. Man, they've spawned. Is that is that where uh, where you found the bear? Cause that bear spawned right outside that door. Round three was the worst. Is this the room? You get in your cabin, load up ammo, a little bit. So the, oh, a few hours bear spawn right now. Bear attacked me about a few something from my cabin and one. I was not alive anymore. Sorry about that. That was it? That's there must be a bear spawning area. Um pretty pretty crazy. Pretty funny that uh <clears throat> I happen to be in the same same place. And uh and that the bear spawned for me. I, I generally leave them alone until I get bored and make the mistake of trying to attack them. All right, so we're going to head up that river. Let's check this out a little bit. It looks to be a little bit of plant life. I don't know. <clears throat> we're going to pick up any cattails we can find because Nature's hot dog. That bunny gave me a little bit of a fright. Just gonna look at this field. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna keep sight of the river, if you can even call this a river, this creek, and then we're gonna explore just just to the sides of it. seems safe-ish, considering uh, otherwise I'm going to get lost. Threats of finding the bear one? Yeah, I, I so in, in a previous playthrough, I thought I was invincible. <clears throat> I had lived for a long time and had a ridiculous amount of food. I'd killed like three bears already killed a moose and uh, there was another bear and I was like well this will give me food for a long time and I shot it and it kept coming and I shot it again it kept coming and it mauled me <clears throat> and I thought well Jesus it's got to be close to death I hit it twice and so, um, uh, 
Um, I like hopped in a hopped in a little house. I bandaged up, rested up a bit. Went went looking for him again. He was still pretty close outside. I shot him again. He kept coming. I shot him again. Um, and at some point, I think I said, "Okay, well, look, I'm just going to follow him, and he's going to bleed out." But maybe bears don't bleed out. I don't know. Um, and I, I just thought he was going to be close to death and shot him again and he, and he killed me. It's, the, the bear took like six bullets without dying. I don't understand how that's possible. Your longest playthrough was 13 and a half days. Um, on what difficulty? Oops. 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 Almost missed him. The medium one. Um, I guess it depends on where you start. I think I see a sapling to the right. <clears throat> you see it? But, uh, I feel like you should be able to get further than 13 days if you play kind of conservatively and just sort of uh, run. It's birch. So, little wolfy wolf, he doesn't appear to want to eat us. Very scared <clears throat> of wolves. Kept falling through thin ice. I mean, <laughs> I guess I would ask, why are you on thin ice? Uh, what do we? What do we do? The wolf is, the wolf is between us and the river. Um, those birch things we can turn into. Arrows, but but not a bow. So that's not really our ultimate goal. Um, past difficulty you were left for three days. With the bear, my bear got you. Um, so we're playing on stalker right now. Essentially, I, I turned some stuff off, but. Um, all the animal behavior is soccer. And I feel like the bear you could just run away from. I guess maybe not if they spawn on top of you, but is this where we try? I think this is where we try to go up the mountain. And that's probably the deer. Well, let's try this again. Oh, that's a, is this a different deer? Let's see if it has a skin. Doesn't have a skin. Okay. <clears throat> um, C. 
so yeah, the wolf sucks. We're not gonna go back to the wolf, I think. Let's see if we can make it up this hill. It looks too steep. Um, shot two rabbits and the wolf was trying to get them. So shot the wolf but missed it and the wolf ran away. Got food but the wolf kept the trap from thin ice for hours. Uh, what, on this map? I don't think we can get up. Looks like you can maybe go down, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'd just try to avoid the ice. I don't know. I, <clears throat> I don't think I'm particularly good at this game. I think I'm just really scared. But I, I don't know. We've done some stupid stuff this stream. Because the game can get... It, it, your own boredom is what winds up killing me, at least. My own boredom, I mean. Because I get... Like, I've been on Trapper... Sorry, Jackrabbit Island and lived off of those rabbits before, and it's just mind-numbingly boring. Because all you do is spend time preparing rabbits and traps. That wolf is preventing me from getting cattails and birch trees, and I don't like that. So I don't see him anymore. Surely he's gone if I can't see him. I'm not scared of these cars. I'm pretty oh, oh. That's sore. First, he couldn't have picked a better time. Because I just said, uh, you just said I use caution, and then I broke uh, my ankle and my wrist. So, balls, you know, that's that's pretty annoying. Can... Yeah. Um... All right. This is... So I could just take a pill. I'm thinking of all the ways I can avoid taking these pills because if we if we do it again we won't have the pills but if we go over there and sleep next to the wolf he's gonna eat us hi cyan welcome back no, uh, I don't have gross hips. So we're going to try sleeping for two hours. May hopefully a wolf won't wake us up. The weather's getting worse. All right, we're in A plus 100% shape. Now here's obviously, or maybe not obviously, but here's, you may remember, where the wolf chased us off. Because wolves suck. Um, how are you tonight, Cyan?
Wait, is that a cave? Oh, this is a bear cave. See the bones of its victims? Um, I'm quite well. I'm quite well. And so is Beatrice, the protagonist. Her name might not be Beatrice, but uh, that's what I call her. Well, no sign of the wolf. Girl power. She's uh, she's a tough one. But I'll tell you one thing, she sure eats a lot. Um, well, so far so good. We we have we have more than enough birch saplings to make arrows. It's going to be a long time before we have that many arrowheads. But... We still don't have a way to make a bow. And without a bow... We'll eventually run out of bullets. And without bullets, I can't get through. Thank you, Nightbot. How are you tonight, Nightbot? Playing Stardew Valley. We love this game. Yeah, when it came out, I spent like, I don't know, like 50 straight hours on it. But after I finished, I kind of stopped. Um, but I know that the, they're doing multiplayer beta now. How do you make arrowheads? So you have to go to the forge to make arrowheads. And you bring metal and you bring coal and a lot of wood and a hammer. Oh, here's the campground. And then you can you can make all sorts of stuff like a makeshift knife or a makeshift hatchet. Or arrowheads. Um, it's actually kind of a, an ordeal, though, because the forge, I think there's, there's two forges now, there used to be just one forge, but there's, it's kind of a, like, in the middle of nowhere, and it takes, uh-oh, oh, I thought that was blood. Um, it takes a lot of coal um, it takes yeah it takes a lot of a lot of um, firewood a lot of coal to keep the fire going to make uh, to make a decent amount of arrowheads it's very bug. That's what I heard. I heard that it. I heard that it hard crashes. Um, e a s e. But uh, I got. I understand what you mean. Well, I thought this would be a good place to find saplings. But I don't see any. Um, I 
place to find wolves? Probably. But to, to be fair, every place seems like a good place to find wolves. Um, we've had good luck today, but we left Mystery Lake because it was just horrible. Teeming with wolves. Oops. It's getting late. I don't like that. Wait, what's that? Uh, I think that's a building over there. Let's make our way over there. After I get up on this hill, take a look around. Is that a building? Yeah. It's a building. Small one, but... Man, I'm s terrified of climbing hills now. Even small ones. Uh... Uh... Jean, thanks for the... Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Well, it's so peaceful if you don't think about all the starving and the bears and the wolves. play this again, I'm definitely gonna turn the animals down. And maybe turn the weather up. I don't see shit out here. Oh, it's a deer. A live one. But I don't see um, any saplings. I feel like it's more loot in tiny buildings than big ones. Maybe. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can remember where it was. I don't even want loot. All I want, unless the loot is a bow, all I want is a maple sap. That's all I want for Christmas. Wait, how do I get over there? It's 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 like above me, I think, right? <clears throat> um, you go in tiny fishing huts. You can definitely find some cool stuff. in unexpected places and places that you've searched before i i, I had um, lived in this one house for i don't know like 30 days and i found a can of peaches that i, I had missed the canada flag cabin um i think any place is a good place to survive if if you need a shelter from the storm. Where where is that cabin? This way? Oh, 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 what do I see? What do I see but saplings? I've lost the I've lost the little house, but I see saplings. Um I haven't fished in a while. 
Maple! We can make a bow! This is this is everything I've dreamed it would be. And where's that cabin? Oh, there it is. Oh, let's stay here for the night. What a... See, isn't this a cute little story? She goes off into the woods search, searching for maple saplings and she finds them and comes upon a little cabin and she hangs out and there's probably a corpse inside, but that's cool. It's just a cute little story. Maybe got some rose sticks. Uh, rifle in a hut, seven bullets. Just clutch. Because he had no food. Side of Mystery Lake. Um, oh yeah, there's a. I think there's like a like a hut that's alone. That's. Pr I think that has a gun sometimes. Uh, the train trails. This stuff will come in handy. We um we came in on the train track, right? We uh we came from Mystery Lake, so we came we came across on the train on the rails. Oh, that's a cute shirt. I would totally wear that shirt. I mean, the buttons are a little bit much, but I would totally wear that shirt. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Well, not a whole lot in this cabin, but um, it's a nice place to stay for the night. So we could make a fire. I don't really need water, so that's not super useful. No, they didn't fix it. They did not fix that bug yet. Hey monkey cats, uh, welcome back. You think I you think I already am? Is this the same shirt you think? <laughs> it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Um, let's see. So we're just over, and. We, ha we have so many cool things. We've got um, up 31 cattails. I'll just drop all of these. I think we can drop those. Um, we should be able to make the bow. Let me, let me check it doesn't take one maple sapling, two guts. We can totally make the bow. We can make Three arrow shafts per birch sapling. And then a simple arrow is a shaft, an arrowhead, and a feather. We have tons of feathers. I think we only have two arrowheads, though. So we'll, we found one arrow. We'll have three arrows total. We'll have to be accurate. <clears throat> um, why I can't what, Cyan? Oh, we're really waterlogged. All right, well, let's pop a soda, grape soda. What do you guys think? Grape soda or orange soda? I, I've always been a, a fan of orange, personally, but I don't have anything against grape.
Root beer. That that's not an option. That wasn't an option. Monkey cats. Uh, one second. Uno segundo. Okay. You're a little high. You lost your English someplace. Uh, no worries. Okay, you're gonna go for great. <clears throat> it's, not, it's not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. I think I think I like grape every once in a while. But for my go-to, I, I, it'd have to be, have to be uh, orange. Um, so it's the middle of the night, and we are completely full of energy. Totally rested. We have nothing to do. Um, I mean, there's like nothing to do. I, if I went outside... We could chop firewood, but for what purpose? We can't carry it home. Uh, I don't have anything to read. That's that's my oversight, I suppose. I made the decision not to bring it because of the because of the weight. Um, oh, we have sewing kit. Crap! I I, I know I keep going back and forth on these things, but. Um, Like, we could repair this if we had three cloth, which we don't have. Ha You think both? Yeah, they both both have their purpose. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see if we if there's no bears or wolves. Holy balls! It's dark. Um, clutch, talk about clutch. All right, well, at least we did a little bit something uh, useful. <clears throat> what mode is this? This is essentially Stalker. Um, but I changed a couple of things. I, I took away parasites because I don't like parasites. Uh, but all the all the animal behavior is stalker. And all the loot stuff is stalker. I, 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 the only other thing I changed is that stuff doesn't decay as fast. So this shirt isn't super warm. But it's pretty light. There's a custom that you can do custom, custom settings. Since the last, uh, I don't know, since about six months ago, I'd say, maybe even longer. All right. Well, we might just have to pass the time. There's no earthly way I'm going out in the dark in this place I don't even know where we are so good talk you're blind I mean it's it's cool if you if you didn't see it it's you didn't see it uh, the only reason I know about it is because people talked about it so much on reddit and then um, I started playing again because I had kind of stopped playing I think the default settings are pretty annoying you know uh, cabin fever. Uh, I don't know. Uh, parasites. It's just I don't. They're just not very fun. You, you cure them by waiting. 
So, uh, I had kind of stopped playing. Uh, Jean, all right, have a nice night. Thank you uh, for stopping by, and I hope to see you again. Is there anything we can do? Don't think so. Well, I guess I'll just wait. I think we won't even need to make a fire before we head back. Let's see if I can sleep. I love how waiting tires are out. Um, I'm not sure if I finished my thought. It was just that um, once I once people were talking about the custom thing, I just I was like, oh, I have to play this again, and it's good. Hey, Kef, how's it going? Is it? Is it early for you? Did you just wake up? I was about to say, uh, this is really late for you, but it's super late for you, right? What's going on, Kev? Haven't seen you in a while. Alright. It's morning. It's 5 a.m. It's the schedule so fucked up. She woke up at 11 p.m.? That's pretty rough, man. I, I've never woken up that late. I mean, to be fair, I've woken up at like 6 p.m., but uh, 11 p.m. is pretty rough. Yeah, pretty much the same for me. Beautiful morning. Oh, the sun is out. It's warm. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this, everybody. I almost don't even want to leave this cabin. It's so pretty. Um, maybe monkey cats. If you set none, it probably no animal spawn, which is probably bad because then you won't be able to get any meat or hides. Um, so, Kef, this game is a survival game, but it's not like survival against zombies or anything, or whatever horrible creatures. It's just wilderness, and it's very cold. You're in northern Canada, and there's been some kind of apocalyptic event, and so basically everybody's dead except for you, and you're just trying to survive... Um, which means finding food and water and shelter from the cold and avoiding mostly wolves. But there's also bears and moose and there's rabbits. The rabbits don't hurt you, of course, but that's pretty much it for wildlife. And yeah, no technology. Um, nothing electric works anymore. Something something happened. Yep, it's just straight survival. There's definitely some elements that are spooky. Like, scary. Like if a wolf comes running at you out of nowhere. It, it, it scares me. But, um, but it's definitely not horror. Um, sort of ominous crows that circle the dead animals. So you can, it's not super like detailed simulation, but the wolves will chase the deer. And um, 
and uh, kill the deer and eat most of the deer and leave the corpse so you can kind of scavenge the remaining couple of uh, pounds of food. So we've just gone into the woods looking for some maple uh, branches, maple saplings, so that we can make a bow. And we found them, uh, amazingly, without getting lost, killed by a wolf. And we're headed back to our house. I mean, it's not our house. We're sort of squatting. But nobody's around to complain, so. And I believe this is where we saw the wolf, so let's just hope he's gone. Yeah, I've definitely squealed uh, when something comes running at us. You hear it growling, and, and you think, oh my god, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? But I, I, I think it's really pretty. Some people, uh, maybe, maybe it's kind of divisive. I've, I've heard a lot of people say that they think it's ugly, but I think this game is really pretty. It's kind of a, you know, artistic sort of style, not realist realism. And so the there's some real moments of peace interspersed with wolf attacks, basically. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty neat. But yeah, this is what we've been playing this week. I'll probably play a little more oxygen not included next week. I, I thought I would die by now. I thought that... I thought I would have died, but we keep surviving. Alright, we found the coast. A beautiful morning. A little windy. It's, it looks like it's the temperature's going down, but beautifully bright and, and clear. Let's head straight over the ice. We can see everything. We don't need to follow the islands anymore. Um, it doesn't seem to be much out here. We'll stop by this cabin. I don't think we've been to this little ice hut, so if we have, I forgot. But did you hear that? What's that noise? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say we should go ahead and craft the bow, but we have to dry the... We have to dry the maple saplings first. You can, you can feel it. I can feel it. Walking into the wind. I really like that. Five more bullets. Oh, thank God. I don't think we have 
Any more meat? So, I might as well eat a little of that. Uh, we have to wait, I think, four days for the saplings to dry. And in the meantime, maybe we'll shoot a deer? Maybe... Oh shit, that's really close. Don't want to get close to the edge of the water, because um, it can break. We did, um, we did a number of somewhat dangerous things today, and everything worked out. <clears throat> I don't understand. The only time, <clears throat> the only time we really had to tussle with a, with a wolf was when I decided to uh, discourage him from visiting. So we've made our home out here on this beautiful little island in the middle of a frozen lake because nobody mess with us here. Home again, home again, chicken the jar. Oh, right. I'm gonna um, let's see what time is it. Yeah, so I'm gonna empty. I'm gonna drop stuff off, and then I'm going to uh, to head off for the night. I still haven't had dinner, and uh, it's getting pretty late. We did all sorts of great stuff today, so I feel like we should end on a on a positive note. Um, so I'm just gonna just gonna clean up. I'll keep keep uh, keep streaming. This might not be super interesting, but I want to make sure everybody knows that I'm not going to go out on any more adventures tonight. Oh, we have this rabbit. All right, let's put all the stuff on the ground, like saplings. I was going to say, where's that deer hide? But we actually brought it back. That's one of these is, the, is it, so OK.
I'll, um... Seven bullets should be enough, right? I don't need to reload. So I'll put... these in the fridge. So we've got 24 bullets. Um, that's a lot of bullets. For this game, that feels like a lot of bullets. This, uh, this little shirt is nice, but we don't really need it. Um, I'm not going to change clothes or anything because I don't know what the next adventure is going to be. Um, probably it's to make a bow and arrow and to, um, to play with said bow and arrow until we lose all our arrows, which is probably going to be about three minutes. Um, you have to recover your arrows. And so, for one thing, if you shoot a deer and the deer runs away but you don't kill it, you either have to track him by following the trail of blood until you find where he his last resting place is, or you lose the arrow. So, um, and that's probably the, the common case is you just shoot it and it goes off past him and now where is it? So um, there's no reticule on the arrow. It's just like um, it's just like trying to hit the the rabbits with your with the rocks. So it's tricky. So we're probably gonna lose our arrows right quick and then we'll want to go make arrowheads. And we'll head off to the to the lighthouse, which I think is one zone away, one map away. All right. Well, just a couple more pieces left. I'll put. Uh, wait, where did they go? Uh huh. Put these away. We'll probably start making all this stuff. Um, maybe just to let time pass to let the sticks dry. There we go. Just about. Nice and tidy. Um, so that's it. So thanks everybody for hanging out. I hope it was fun. I had fun. And that's all that matters. Um, so tomorrow is Saturday. Probably won't play The Long Dark. Um, I'll probably play a different game. But probably come Monday we'll play The Long Dark again. Um, if you, uh, if you've had fun, please follow. You can come to the Discord if you want to know exactly what I'll be playing on, on whatever day. Um, but otherwise, I will see you anon. Um, Trisha Fina, thank you. Thank you very much for the, for the bits and for the follow and for hanging out. Thanks, Monkey Cats. All right, everybody. Goodbye.